Hi all folks, this is Max from DroidRazorRoot.com. So let's say you bricked your phone or for some reason you want to go back to 2.3.6. Um, whatever the reason, you can unroot, unroot, unbrick your Droid Razor. Very simple to do. First you'll need to put it in fast boot mode. Um, hold down the volume up and volume down and the power button until your phone resets. Alright, and then you're going to let go of the power button real quick and hit it back. Let go of the power button and hit it back like that. And hold all three buttons down. And you get into this um, menu here. And if you get stuck on uh, flash failure mode, you can also, uh, and you run out of batteries and you can't get into this menu, um, make sure your battery's out. Uh, when, make sure your phone's turned off. Hold down volume up, volume down, and plug in your USB and you'll get this menu also. Anyway, go choose uh, AP Fast Boot using the volume down button. Like that and hit volume up and you'll be in this fast boot mode and uh, connect your USB cable to your computer now make sure you're connected to a USB 2.0 um, if you use like an old USB switch um, it might not do that and I, I actually just found that out so just plug it into your computer just you know don't use a switch that's probably the best way plug it in go to your computer now this is only for Windows only now Currently, there's no method um, to do it on Mac other than or Linux. Uh, there's a method for Linux. Um, I think it's because the fast boot. These files are, you know, all the Motorola people they use Windows, <laughs> or they develop on Windows. Anyway, go download this uh, VRZ underscore XT nine one two blah 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 dot zip. I'll have links below, and also the RSD Lite program. I'll have links. Just run the RSD Lite program in your Windows computer, and you'll get a um, that icon after you install it. Oh sorry, you know what? Next what you want to do is um, make sure you have the drivers installed. Uh, go to control panel, hardware and sound, device manager, and under device manager you should get mod single ADB interface. And uh, if you get an exclamation mark, like I said before, you're probably using a USB 1.0 switch. Um, and uh, if you use, just plug it into your computer straight, it should get rid of it. And uh, once you've got that done, if you don't have that, install Moto Helper uh, or Moto uh, Mo Motorola drivers. I'll have links, and it'll install it for you. Just run the program once. That's it. And once that's done, um, you're gonna go download. Um, oops, this program um, called Droid Razor Utility. Uh, dot zip and if you unzip it you'll get a bunch of files like this simply run it and uh, you'll be able to flash it uh, put it back to um, to 2.3.6 hit enter to continue and uh, there's also other things you can do with this but we're not gonna uh, we're not gonna worry about that um, just do number one all right hit one and hit enter and then this will restore your back, uh, you back to 6.12.173 software version, which is Android 2.3.6. And hit to continue. And it'll say uh, sending MBM writing all this stuff. And it says press after the screen comes back on. My screen is back on here. Ah, uh, crap. My cable's not long enough. Um, just hit enter. All right, and then do the same thing. Wait till uh, the screen comes back on. Now it came back on. You hear the sound. Hit enter again. All right, and this will. I'm not sure if it wipes everything. We'll find out. I didn't actually wipe anything, so we'll find out if this wipes your whole user settings and other things. Um, but it shouldn't wipe any of the storage of the contents. So it's working and working. And this is a great way to uh, unroot, unbrick your droid eraser. I've had an unroot method before, which removes root if you have a, a stock stock ROM. But um, this is like if you're trying to flash new ROMs or you flash the new ROM and you, so for some reason you just can't get your phone back, you can use this method or you're going to return your phone for warranty. You can use this method. Um, safe to do you can do it multiple times and uh, make sure you have enough battery when you do this 
you don't want your battery to run out while you're flashing stuff then you can actually end up in a hard brick you might have to return well actually hard bricks are pretty good for returning for warranty um, because you can usually go back to Verizon or wherever and say oh you know what my, I, I woke up and I turned my phone on and uh, it doesn't boot you know if you hard brick, hard brick it the good thing is even you know people at Verizon or you know uh, Motorola they can't even figure out what's wrong with your phone so they have to give you a new phone sometimes that happens you know in in real life you know things break you know without a reason sometimes it's computers it's made by humans um, so that can happen and uh, it's almost done here I think um, actually this is the first time I'm doing it what I do is when I make videos I actually have my camera on all the time and if I fail it sucks because I have to erase all of that stuff and I have to start over so I just leave my camera on um, whatever I'm doing and if I'm successful I can just edit it and make it into a video and uh, most of the time I, I do that and uh, I get it on the first time but it sucks when I have like for this video I've actually made this is my like like tenth retake because all these unrooting method I was trying earlier didn't work so it, just, it sucks um, so all of those videos you see sometimes I'm spending a whole day like like that video I uploaded last time last night was um, OS X on PC that took me three days to make it's that one actually I, I installed I didn't even try to take videos because I knew I was gonna fail um, so I made it the video after so it took me double the time um, but finally I have OS X I've got Ubuntu I've got Windows I've got all three systems running so I can do pretty much everything on any OS except for this one this one only runs on uh, um, Windows there is a way if there's a way we can find out um, how to get fast boot uh, the fast boot used by Motorola devices especially the Droid Razor and the newer phones it uses Motorola's own version of fast boot um, but I don't think they released it they don't have it um, they don't have it they only have it for Linux or Windows oh so it's, it's done here and uh, my phone's rebooting and I actually have safe strap installed here but uh, it probably it probably deleted that because we just restored it fully um, and let me switch the camera angle right here real quick and I won't turn it off just to prove you to that it's didn't turn it off and let's zoom in there my Canon 70 is great I have a, I'll always put a link to what I'm using um, I'll have an uh, equipment update soon video if you guys want it I've got uh, basically I've got the microphone a bunch of more more things um, if you get this you can do um, you can do volume up, volume down at the same time, and if you're going to return it to, to for warranty, um, do a wipe data factory reset. And if you have trouble, if if it gets stuck in uh, boot loop, you can come back into this menu and do this also. But I'm just going to reboot my system now because I want to find out um, if if the data gets wiped or if it doesn't. And I was also on a custom ROM, so it might not boot. I might have to go back in there and do the uh, factory resets but we'll see um, so it's booting and uh, hopefully I have a restored my 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 droid razor to 2.3.6 and if you want to go root it um, you can go check out my rooting instructions the latest one um, you can use that to root it again very easy it's a one click install um, from doctors somebody I forgot sorry I'm getting too high on Android killing brain cells it's it's just I don't know it's happening um so it's booting and booting and uh, God, it's booting and it's booting we got the boot animation there you go and I know a lot of you try to flash maybe a Eclipse ROM or one of the newer ROMs on Android 2.3.5. Um, the thing with Motorola devices, if you have to make sure it's made for 2.3.5 or 2.3.6, 
and that's that's just a huge pain because that's how Motorola made it it's too locked down I wish they changed it like all my Samsung devices I can flash a gingerbread froyo you know or, or you know a honeycomb uh, I don't know not honeycomb ice cream sandwich and go back and forth no big deal just you know I can use any modem but with the Moto devices you have to use the modem for 2.3.6 or 2.3.5 otherwise you end up in a boot loop um, which really sucks that's my only complaint I guess and uh, you know I, and I hope Motorola gets acquired by oh there you go weepy so I don't know what's up with that flicker that's all my camera maybe my camera's getting old um, let's just do a skip here I think you can do a uh, four corners or something. Somebody was telling me I forgot how to do it though. How do you do it? Somebody make a YouTube video. I'm just gonna force close. I don't really care. There you go. Ah. Um, you can also do a factory reset. Um, I just want to check if it my da data is wiped or not. Um, so I can tell you guys if this process wipes your data or not. Uh, there we go. Alright, just starting up for the very first time. Um, yeah, it's probably just trying to pick up signal here. I'm just the type of person that's impatient. I want it fast now. Boot up already. You know. But at, at that rate, you, you'd be dead already. Maybe slowing down is a good idea. So I think this process does um, probably wipe everything. But just to make sure, you can do another factory um, reset, which maybe I'll show you how to do. Um, but it's still booting up, or it's just stuck here. But I need it now. Yes, X. I hate this Motorola X thing. It's just really annoying. I don't need it. No, no, no. All right, there you go. So it wiped everything. Oh no, did I wipe everything? No, I still have my music. Um, let's see if I still have my Gmail. Turn off. Auto start. Binders. So it did wipe all my settings here. Um, it's still a little bit funky. It still has my Google Music. So it kept my music. Um, my Google Music. No, wait a minute. That's not Google Music, is it? Let me see. But it's running really slow. No, oh, that is Google Music. I don't think your phone comes with Google Music, does it? Let me see if I can check some other way here. No, I think it wiped everything, yeah. It pretty much wiped everything. Let's see if we get the market instead of the um, the Play Store. Oh, where's my market? Oh, there it is. Oh, it still has market, so. Yeah, it's running fine now. It's just that startup. I'm not gonna wipe. So you should be fine, but just in case something goes funky, you can do this. Um, hold down, volume up, volume down again, hit the power button. I'll show you how to do a factory reset real quick. Um, just so you can get a clean, 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 clean phone. Hold it down, wait till it. Uh oh, did I lose that? This will get us back into stock recovery. Uh, my video just got cut off. Let me show it to you again. Volume up, volume down, hold down the power button. Wait until your phone resets, let go of the power button, hit it back again real quick. Um, there you go. I just, and then you, once you get in here, choose a recovery and uh, hit uh, volume up. And this will get you back into that stock recovery we saw earlier. Um, I don't know why it booted into it after. But you can do it uh, during then instead of doing it like now. But you know it's gonna wipe everything anyways 
And if you've uh, backed up your ROM stuff, or hopefully you've backed up your apps using Titanium backup and your SMS text messages. Hold volume up and down at the same time. And you get this menu and go to Wipe Data Factory Reset. Hit the power button. Go down to Yes. Delete all user data. Hit the power button. And uh, this will just pretty much just start you on a clean slate. And also, if you backed up your stuff, you can always root it again. Um, restore stuff. If you had a 2.3.6 ROM, I, you can restore ROMs too after you root again. Um, but I, would, I wouldn't advise trying to restore ROM from 2.3.5. If you want to do that, go root it, install SafeStrap, and make a backup of this. That way you can try it, and if it doesn't work, if you end up in a boot loop, you can get back into SafeStrap and restore the 2.3.6. 2 that, that way you don't have to unroot it again. And uh, if you're just going to uh, return it to the story, store for warranty, you can do this. Um, reboot and make sure you erase all your personal data off the internal storage and also your SD card because they will still be there. And uh, we're almost done here. It took me a whole day to do this. I can't believe it. Oh, God. A whole day wasted. But it's not as bad as three days wasted on Hackintosh. That sucks even more. Um, so it's almost done here. And uh, Dala, voila. Um, formatting data. This will just format all your system settings um, and uh, apps and stuff. It doesn't actually get rid of anything um, in your internal storage, all your media files and stuff. So it's very safe way to do um, unroot here. Okay, I'll be back when this is done. It's taking way too long. So it is done, and we are back high on Android reboot system now. And I'm just gonna um, get you back. But that's how you do it. That's how you can, you know, pretty much um, get everything back and. Uh, if you like this video, if it helped you, don't forget to hit that like button, favorite, and uh, subscribe to my channel for more cool Android videos, get high on Android, and other electronic projects, um, and also share this on your friends with, <laughs> share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. Sorry, it's been a long day, I've been unrooting my, trying to unroot my phone, like, ten times today. But I did it, you know. <laughs> And thanks to the guy who made Droid Racer Utility. I didn't make it myself. Um, I'll have credits to his site um, if this helped you. Don't forget to go check out his site and uh, and donate to the guy. Um, usually there's a donate button on XDA or wherever. And uh, thanks you guys again. I'm going to go get high on Android and I'm going to go root my phone again. Alright, see y'all later.